What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're just going to do a little talk on the new 2021 Ford Raptor. And I saw recently that Ford re redesigned the exhaust on this. Now it's a very interesting way they did it. It's something that I am pretty excited about because it's a method that I have wanted to experiment with on my truck and my old Ford Taurus. I never got to it, but it's something that I've known about for many years and have talked about doing to some of my friends and family. So what Ford decided to do was make the exhaust on the Ford Raptor equal length. Well, how do they do this and why did they even do this? Well, the way that they did it was, if you think about a truck exhaust, I'll put some pictures so you can see it. If you have a typical truck engine, it's gonna be mounted longitudinally, meaning on the left and right, you're gonna have like bank one, bank two. And so this, they'll start, in the same with their manifolds, they'll come down, but the driver's side needs to loop over to the passenger side. And this is usually due to the fuel tank, fuel lines, all that sort of stuff. They kick the driver's side bank over to the passenger side, and then they usually join them together in a Y pipe if it's not true duels, and they'll run them out to the back where the tailpipe is. What happens is because that driver's side needed to kick over to the passenger side, it's now not equal length anymore. So on a truck, we don't really think about this very much. It's actually something I've thought about and wanted to play around with because I'm just a geek with exhaust and really into them more than most people. But most people don't notice it because trucks typically sound burly. If it's got a V8 in it, it usually it's pretty hard to make a V8 truck sound bad or SUV. They almost always sound good if you put a nice sounding muffler on it. But this is not the case with a V6. And Ford has had to deal with this with the EcoBoost and a lot of people, I think a lot of people kind of get over that because the EcoBoost admittedly can make a lot of power with a tune. And so, uh, you know, it's kind of easy to overlook that, but let's be real. A lot of them sound like crap. They don't sound good. I hate the sound of an EcoBoost truck with an exhaust. It doesn't sound nice to me. Well, Ford didn't like that. They didn't like the complaints and they went to the drawing board and they ended up putting a loop in on the passenger side exhaust bank and this allows them to now have an equal length exhaust which makes a very smooth exotic sounding exhaust note that you really probably have never heard on a full size truck before. Now there were vehicles, again, I've just been into this sort of stuff for a long time, the Toyota X-Runner pickup, which is was an, it was an older version of the Tacoma. They had it like a really cool looking body kit. I can't remember the years, I feel like 2008 to 10, but I could be a little off, pardon me on that. And some aftermarket providers made equal length exhaust for those. And why was that? Because it completely changed the sound of those trucks. It got rid of that kind of typical, kind of off sounding, eh, I don't really want an exhaust on my V6 truck to, wow, that sounds really nice and smooth. <laughs> And that's something that I'm really glad Ford decided to implement on this. You'll notice this kind of off sounding, you know, cylinders when you have something like a Taurus show. Those had an unequal length exhaust. I owned a 2015 Taurus, just an SEL, but it's the same idea. On a front wheel drive mounted vehicle, you have one bank, which is close to the tip of the hood and the other, which is going to be closer to the windshield because the engine is mounted. I think it's called transversely. So one is facing all the way forward. The other is more towards the back, heading towards the back of the car. And as a result, one of the banks has to go further to meet up with the other bank towards the middle of the car. And now you have an unequal length exhaust. If you have something like a V6 Mustang, that's a reason why that engine typically is going to sound nicer because it's equal length, the banks are, you know, 
longitudinally mounted so they have equal length to go from the manifolds all the way out to the back of the car. So it's a pretty cool kind of technology that Ford decided to implement. It's really cool. I just geek out on this stuff and I figure some of you guys may appreciate kind of how it sounds differently. And I think for some people, you know, like myself, it's important that your vehicle sounds nice as you're driving it. It's uh, just part of being a car enthusiast. and. In it, unfortunately, with certain configurations, no matter what you do, you can't change it, right? Like there's certain characteristics that you have no control over and an unequal length exhaust is one of those. So unless you do something like Ford did, which I might kind of tip my hat off to them, you would never be able to get over that kind of off, rough, sounding exhaust. It's just no way of doing it, but they were able to smooth it out by going to that equal length. So let me know what you think of the new Raptor exhaust. I think it sounds really awesome. And I think quite frankly, with it being an active exhaust, it's the type of exhaust system that a lot of owners will end up not changing because it gives you different levels of sound. It sounds really nice from the factory. So in my opinion, what's the point of changing it at that point? Let me know guys down below, love to hear your feedback, and we'll talk to you in the next one. Take care.